Hi, it's Daniel, or oh, mostly known as Welsh and Yeshi to most of you. So hey, what's up? Welcome to another episode of my player crew mode with Blackman Rovers. At the moment, we are still with them. I wanted that little message you just seen then with David Dunn. I only recently put it in there and I thought to myself, I'm actually doing my job correctly. I'm actually keeping players out, making them unhappy. But then Blackman signed a new deal um, for a new player. And also, I decided to take myself off the transfer list. But unfortunately, um, Steve Keane or whoever's managing them right now um, on this particular game. So, um, Charlton offered me a job, and I really don't know why. But uh, I have also been selected to play in my for my international team, and I was really proud of this. I was like, oh yes, I've, I've actually got selected, which is pretty awesome. Here's the thing: the manager decided to take me off um, the transfer, and uh, not actually keep me on there. I was like, what's the point? I'm not gonna leave. Um, I got a starting eleven posi position right now, so yeah, we are leaning for international duty after this game, which we are playing against Charlton Athletic. We are playing the centre next to Richardson, I think his name is. It's some new guy who's actually coming up into the team, so me and him are controlling the diamond field, um, taking out uh, Murphy and Etu, and also that new signing who actually start. He doesn't start the day he comes on in the, like the 90th minute or so. But yes, Charlton Athletic, uh, they did offer me a loan deal. And uh, to be honest, I don't understand what's the point in going to um, a team which is in the same league uh, anyway. So that that's the reason I'm staying. And plus, I've actually got a starting eleven position right now. I don't see the point in leaving a club where I've already got a starting eleven position and whatnot. I want to mention as well, unfortunately, I didn't upload at all last week. It was only two videos. Um, and as I'm making this, my internet's still down. I currently have no internet. So... Everyone hashtag Sky sucks nuts um, on Twitter or something like that. I really don't know. But it's irritating. Um, they said it will be 72 hours. It's now been four days and they still haven't sorted it. So we got to ring them up and I am going to be cancelling them very soon. So a little advice from a customer. Do not go with Sky. they got good TV but shite internet. So if you've got any advice, guys, who's, in, who's internet provider should I go with? Um, time to go with BD. Um, but yes, uh, Charlton, they do end up scoring just after half time. I did ask for the ball, but the strike, I think it was Rhodes, actually passed it to Dan. And Dan had a very poor touch. So if he actually gave the ball to me, we wouldn't have conceded. I could have done what I wanted to. And as I say, orchestrate that midfield to push it forward. But we got broke open again in the 51st minute. Like the first five minutes that we came out, we were off on the back foot straight away. Uh, and I don't understand where our defenders were. It was that he wasn't there on the setting goal. We do end up getting booked. Uh, this is just frustration running through my head. And uh, as in a previous episode, I did say that I am currently with a sinking ship. And I think, should I stay with this team? Should I just battle it through? And I thought, yeah, but get battle it through. It's a team I support, and you have a little bit of extra passion when it's a team that you actually follow. And you're like, yes, come on, lads. But yeah, we put a lovely through ball now to some other guy and uh, Leon Best does end up scoring a wonderful goal in the 90th minute but unfortunately it isn't enough to make us win the game or even get back into it to draw level to at least take a point from this. Um, as well, it's quite strange how Blackburn are doing pretty bad in the league. Um, they're currently sixth in the playoff spot so um, as well when you're playing in the game it's they don't seem to like control it as good. We had a pretty poor game in my opinion 6.4 right then but uh, yeah uh, but then the manager I got I must got questioned in a newspaper or something and I, I deliver master class I have been told but uh, it doesn't I'm doing okay I think in my opinion I'm stepping up to the plate but international duty calls um, we are playing for Australia and it, it, in those little butterflies you get like when it's something exciting is happening like oh my god is it gonna get selected? But unfortunately, I didn't get selected for the South Korean game. No, uh, no, Korean Republic uh, game. Um, so yeah, that was quite irritating. But just like you all know, Australia are in the Asian Asia qualifiers for um, when they qualify for the World Cup. Um, but yeah, we are playing India. We did get selected for the next game. I was like, here we go, lads. We are playing against. India, um, and I've never played against them, I've never really watched India, if I'm totally honest, and I thought, we, we should win this, it's a simple game, it should be an easy three points, nice game for me to start up against, but they did lose against Korea last time, so it could have been a bit thing, but this bit here, see me, see me, can you see me there, I have the captain's arm band on, ladies and gentlemen, I, I look like i got a pole at my ass right now, but 
I am wearing that captain's armband. I am captaining, captain, 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 captain my country on my debut, which is amazing in my opinion. I know it's Australia, but it's like, wow. Like, it's good to see the manager. He's like, we're going to give you the captaincy to start off. We think you've been playing well for your club. And yeah, and so, um, unfortunately, don't get any extra commands, which is annoying. But we did make a great tackle and a great recovery uh, thing. But here, they do have a free kick, and we make a brilliant block to prevent them from doing it. And unfortunately, we didn't win the second ball, but we do end up clearing it. So in the first 10 minutes or so, we put a nice ball now to our Titans. We do end up pushing forward. As for the ball back, and I decided to go for the shot. Took a deflection and a brilliant save from the goalkeeper there. And I was surprised that he actually kept it. And I was like, oh no, I could have scored on my debut, but it isn't going to happen. But they decided to score in the 30th minute, India. I was like, how can we concede goals like this? That was the most simple goal that we could have conceded. But here now, I have to give it to my pro. Look at this. I'm, I'm trying to position myself. and um, Here I position myself pretty well there. Decided to charge down this guy. Missed the tag up here. They cross it back. And look at this. Off the line, Griffiths, you utter beast. How to keep it in, fighting for the staying with your country. But we are 1 0 down. Unfortunately, I've done my bit a little bit. I think the way I've played this game, I've done respectable. Like, to be honest, I would. I wasn't expecting to play spectacular on my first debut, but we do end up getting a pen, and you, this is why you should never give the penalty to the guy who got tagged. I think the guy who got tagged was taking it, not percent but McDonald does end up missing it, kicking it straight at the goalkeeper. I was, I wanted the pen. I really wanted it. I'm captain, and I'm pretty good at penalties. So, yeah, that was pretty unfortunate. We didn't score again, um, pushing on into the dying seconds of the minutes even I should say of the second half but I tried another shot and I recently I get frustrated when um, we don't score like when we end up losing I'm like bugger just shoot just shoot just try and get as many shots as possible can but to be honest after my current rating was around a six something uh, you see it in a moment um, it was like a 6.6 6 and it was it wasn't the best in my opinion even I think that this wasn't the best, but I, apparently my manager put the manager put his arm around me and uh, said, "Don't worry, lad." Um, so yeah, I I wasn't happy with my performance, but we I was glad that I did what I did. But we didn't get slept for the next two games, which was totally understandable. Um, we were still tired from the bloody internationals, but I'm happy that I played for my country and captained my country on my debut. So I was pretty proud of that. But Blackman did beat Hull. We do go into playing against Huddersfield now. Which is also in the Empower Championship. Um, I'm not playing in this game either. But we do end up drawing in this particular game. 1-1. One, one, um, Olsen's brother does get the goal. But we did get selected for the third and final game of this episode. Which is against Ipswich Town. We are playing in midfield with Richardson again. I can't remember his name. I need to check. I need to check all the players' names. But... Um, I do end up, oh, I'm in the pre-titles. Look at that, Griffiths, baby. So, after this, I did think myself, right, I've played international now. Let's try and bring some the experience from playing international football to the Empower Championship and show them that I'm an actual god and I deserve to be in this team and also deserve to be called up again. Um, what's good as well with being in Australia, I've only just thought this, that some of the midfielders are pretty old, so um, I'm kind of going to be getting my slot in there quite often. So, I'm hoping to be playing in the 20... 16 World Cup, yeah, it's 2016, yeah, no, 2014 World Cup, oh my god, I've done a man, uh, 2014 World Cup, uh, 2016 is the Olympics, and it? it's uh, Brazil ho hosting the World Cup and the Olympics, aren't they, and uh, thank god, that must cost a lot of money, yeah, um, but yes, yeah, so we do end up making a brilliant run and do end up scoring, and I have to say, that was absolutely exquisite in my opinion, like, I was like, wow, I am awesome sometimes, like, I decided, I like to make the late runs in, trying to get the thing, uh, try and get the ball in the last ditch thing, but well, cross now, look at this, little dink, and I do end up heading in to the back of the net, and I, as well, I started the play, I put it out, back up wide, and it crossed it in, and it was awesome in my opinion, and I was very proud of that, so I was bringing some international experience, but we do get another shot away in the 27th minute, and also, we did get booked, uh, I didn't show the, I didn't show it, 
because at first I was wondering why did I get booked for and it was like a tackle which was ages ago they didn't show the replay but sure we do get another shot away in the 36 minute playing really well in this particular game especially just before half time we do end up going 1-0 up with the lead and happy with myself to get a goal and also as well I was up in that setup with the goal so I was fairly proud of that in my opinion but we do end up pushing forward again. I think this Etio on the ball, he does get a shot away. But unfortunately, he doesn't actually score. But then we do come to the last few minutes and the game does finish. And we do end up winning 1-0 in the Empire Championship. And I'll have to say this is a very, very good episode in my opinion. We have captained our country. We played for our country. We did do for our country. We've also scored. We've won games. We've lost games. It's all good. And I'd like to say thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed 8.1. That's a better rating. I'd like to say thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys coming back and again and again. It uh, motivates me even more to make videos. And I say I do apologize for not uploading. It's out of my control with my internet connection. Um, so, yes, these are uh, past games. And you see, we are meeting some objectives. Uh, we need to create more chances. Um, our passing, our average rating is down. Here's some more accomplishments. We are 69 rating now. But anyway, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you are new, my friends, subscribe. Adios.